they were, is that right? Yes, bit of good news. They're not, uh, they're not falling, the prices, but they're certainly not going up as quickly as they were, as you say. Good morning, everyone. The uh, latest figures from the British Retail Consortium show that the shop price inflation has fallen to its lowest level in 16 months. Now, this is not the usual inflation we talk about, which includes things as such as utility bills. This is just the rise in prices in the shops. Now, overall, at the end of last year, the level that prices were rising by in the shops slowed down slightly to just 1.7%. But the rate at which food prices are going up continue to climb to 4.2%. And the overall inflation rate was pulled down by big discounts on other goods, where prices are rising by just 0.3%. Well, with me now is Helen Dickinson, who's a retail analyst. Good morning to you, Helen. Mm -hmm. Is this about all the shops discounting to get sales? Is that why we're seeing this form? It is, and it really reflects the dilemma that retailers faced in the lead-up to Christmas. The rest of 2011 had been a pretty challenging retail environment, particularly for the non-food sectors. December started slowly, so they got a bit nervous, perhaps, and needed to... Uh, raise some promotions, do some discounts in order to encourage us into the shops. And we did see that, particularly in the last week before Christmas. Do you think it's a blip then? I think that there are lots of factors that impact inflation and that we've got uh, the VAT rise now annualising. So we will see shop prices continue to uh, fall over the coming months because that competitive environment is going to continue into 2012. Looking at the food prices, they're still going up quite a lot, but yet we keep hearing from the supermarkets about that, how they're, they're all dropping prices and how their margins are, are getting smaller. Are they, what's, why, what's the truth here? <laughs> well, the, the food sector particularly is being impacted by what's happened to commodities. And over the last couple of years, particularly since the financial crisis, we've seen a lot of volatility and increase in commodity prices. And that is what the food retailers are needing to deal with. The competitive environment means that they are needing to ensure that they are encouraging shoppers and being as uh, competitive as they can be to get people in. So they're trying to balance off those two factors. What do you think is going to happen in the year ahead then? Because we've talked in the past about how the only bit of good news this year is going to be that, that the cost of living is going to not go up as much as it was. Do you think that's going to happen? I think that the, uh, the, the squeeze on people's disposable incomes is going to continue and that is going to make the, the environment continue to be challenging. So we as consumers will continue, continue to see good deals, but it does make that a difficult environment for retailers to actually be, be operating in. So profits will probably be hit still? Indeed, because although we saw uh, shop prices and retail sales, uh, uh, retail sales increase in December, the, the rest of, of, of this year is, is going to be a bit, uh, a bit tough. That was more of a, a one-off blip as opposed to a change in our shopping patterns because of that squeeze on incomes. OK, Helen, thanks for your time. I'm going to be uh, talking about this later in the programme as well because we've got the boss of uh, Sainsbury's on. He'll be telling us about their trading statements. So we'll be looking at what's been happening over Christmas and looking more at those food prices. If you do want to ask any questions to him, you can tweet me at Steph Breakfast or get in touch with us by the usual methods. And that's it for me for now. Thanks okay. very much. Thank, Steph. You Thank you very much.